we're going to take a slight right turn. Um, you being a Rochester baby, right now Rochester is known to the rest of the state as the murder capital of, of New York currently, averaging 16 homicides per every 100,000 people in that city. What are your thoughts on that? And what do you think is the root cause for so many lives being taken in the city of Rochester violently? I mean, let's see, was it three years ago? It was before COVID. Um, they shot up the Boys and Girls Club. Um, That's never happened in your lifetime. No, I, that, was un, that was untouchable. You don't touch that. You don't touch kids. You don't touch the Boys and Girls Club. Um, and you know, a sh you know, right, right, like right there. Right. Like I played there. Right. Right. <laughs> like I know, I know those people. Um, you know, and that's when it was like, dang. All right. I, I think there's a bu bunch of things. I think it's it's economy. I think it's COVID. I think if if like if you don't have things, you gotta you gotta get it. Like right. however you can get it. I'm not one to I would never judge anybody. And I think Rochester's just become a a place where it's it's really tough to get out of, man. Like if you were from the inner city, if if you go to Marshall, if you go to Wilson, if you go to East High School, there's just there's so many people trying to drag you the opposite way. And then, you know, there's just tons of gun, you know, like one of my friends that I played at East, Chris Rogers, mm -hmm. like got gunned down. Rest uh, in peace. For sure. Like, and it was like, I remember my boy hitting me like, yo, Chris died. I'm like, what? Like, I just talked to him. Um, and there's no really, like, nobody's untouchable. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that uh, element has definitely won away where if you've seen someone with a certain kind of upside, whether it was athletics, whether they were a nerd, whether they were into the performing arts, and you notice that about them 13, 14, 15, the shooters and bangers will be like, leave them alone, stay clear of them. If they even heard there was a problem with yeah. that individual, they'd go and put their neck on the line. Yeah. Um, that no longer seems to exist in, in any inner city, no. actually across the nation. Yeah. Um, and it's sad, man. There's so many kids just, as you know, like just, they get caught up in it and then they don't know how to get out of it. Um, and they're good kids. Absolutely. They're not bad kids. It's like, it's the same goes back. I, I had a father, like I had, I went home. I knew I was going to eat that night, every night. Amen to that. Like, it just, it is, it, man, I, and, and, it, and it sucks to be, I love the 585. I, I tweeted, I posted, I'm 585 all day. Right. And it just, you know, it sucks, man. We get, we get like 250 kids at our, <laughs> our free events. Right. And, and, uh. And, it, and it's dope to see all these kids come in, but at the same time, they go back out. Go back and you know where they gotta go back to. And it's, and it's tough, cause it's, it's, like you almost feel like yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, it's tough, man, it, it, it always will be, I think.